Okay guys, so here we have our hydrometer tube and our hydrometer. So we need to fill it up, you know, about to here to have enough beer to get a reading. And here's our three-piece beer thief. It's been in sanitized in solution. So what we do is go ahead and attach this part to the end. These are just, you know, five, ten bucks online. Also referred to as a wine thief. And how this works is you just submerge this and then with your thumb off the hole, put your thumb on that creates a vacuum and holds the liquid in there. We can drop it right in the hydrometer. So let's go ahead and take a reading. All right, so we got some beer here. Shake off a little bit of the excess. Okay, so we have to do a few iterations of this, obviously. And probably a good idea to have a towel handy when you do this. Okay, guys. So we got our beer thief here assembled and our hydrometer. I got a plate down to try to catch any of the drippings, which there certainly will be. And uh, we're going to take a few iterations here, you know, to get this thing full. We'll probably have to clean the side of our carboy off again. So we submerge as far as we can. Come out as quick as you can. And drop the beer into the hydrometer. So it's going to take probably four or five passes to do this right. Alright, that's two. Three. Four. Five. We'll do one more, I should get it six. Obviously the better beer thief you have, uh, the less spillage you're gonna get, so might want to upgrade that if you stick with glass carboys because that's kind of a pain to spill everywhere. So we're going to drop our hydrometer in and then give it a good spin and I'll zoom in here and we'll get a good reading. Okay guys, so we're zoomed in here pretty good and there's a bit of bubbles. It's hard to quite see it, but there is 1070s so we're above that. Looks to me about 1072 if we give it all those bubbles. So we're going to start have our starting gravity be 1072. So that's pretty strong. Uh, it's definitely got potential to turn out to be a really nice strong beer and that's right in the range of what we want for a Weizenbach. So next step is to oxygenate the beer. 